Developing this morning, Gianna, former President Donald Trump is facing criminal charges. This is the first criminal case ever brought before a former United States president. Not only that, Trump is running for re-election right now as he prepares to turn himself in and be arrested in New York. While the indictment itself is sealed for now, the case is focused on the suspected hush money payment to former adult film star, Stormy Daniels before Trump's 2016 campaign. Overnight, there was a heavy security presence and about a handful of protesters outside Manhattan's district attorney's office. Less than six hours ago, one of Trump's attorneys told CBS News via text that Trump's legal team expects him to surrender likely on Tuesday. If that does happen, the proceeding is set to be brief. California Congressman Adam Schiff became a household name after leading the prosecution against Trump during his first impeachment. Schiff weighed in on this. Sadly, though, this is right out of the Trump playbook, uh, which is to threaten to unleash uh, some kind of hell uh, if, he, if he is held accountable. But we can't allow that uh, to uh, intimidate or interfere with the application of the law. Uh, if the justice system uh, is to work in this country, it has to have only one standard for the rule of law. Anything less simply isn't, our, isn't democracy. The case stems from a payment made just days before Trump was elected president in 2016. Trump's former attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, was previously sentenced to prison on federal campaign finance charges over his role in the $130,000 payment. This is about the adage that no one is above the law. This is also about that whatever laws that sent me to prison should send him to prison. Trump has denied having a sexual encounter with Daniels and strongly denies any wrongdoing in this case. The former president calling the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg a disgrace and claiming the entire investigation is a witch hunt. Trump's attorneys say they will vigorously fight this. But the big question seems to be this morning, some may be asking, Amanda, what actually happens next in this process with uh, former President Donald Trump? I mean, we haven't seen this happen to a president no. before, so there's a lot of questions. I think what's really interesting, though, is we have seen this with high-ranking officials mm -hmm. in other departments. So there is some sort of setup already. Yeah. But we talked to a former federal prosecutor about what's to come and what it all means. Andrea Nakano has more on that.